There's the watcher being helpful. And again, you know, the puzzles start off fairly simple and then, you know, get progressively more complicated as you make your way through. I think a lot of people are, are surprised at the, the amount of puzzles and, you know, exploring that there actually is in this game because, you know, they think it's a combat game on the surface. Here we get another glimpse of Tiamat beating on your mount. It's putting up a good fight, though. Hmm, how can I get that thing down from up there? So here War uh, discovers the first of his uh, special dungeon items, we call them gear items, uh, and this is the crossblade. And this is really the first uh, permanent ranged weapon that War gets. And the crossblade functions in a bunch of different ways. You can, uh, you know, just throw it at the nearest target by locking onto them. You can also enter a manual aiming mode to, to hit very specific targets. You can tag multiple targets, uh, like he was doing in the flight sequence earlier, uh, and, you, you know, hit them in a particular order. You can also use it to stun one target and keep them held in place. So uh, there's a lot of fun uh, that comes with just figuring out all the different uses for the crossblade and one really important element of it is that it can transfer uh, fire from one source to another and that's something you have to learn to do throughout this dungeon to get through Gotta grind those guys with the crossblade and keep them uh, keep them stunned. Yeah, once the armor's off, they're wusses. So each dungeon introduces a new uh, gear item and you know a lot of the gameplay stems from it and uh, mastering its use and it always culminates in you know the boss battle heavily involving that item as well so you'll have to use the crossblade against Tiamat at the end of this level. War is finally confronting Tiamat. She's all done smacking the, uh, the angel scout around. I don't know why, but I always think of Ray Harryhausen movies when she's moving around. I love big, cool-looking monsters. And so here, she's got a healing ability, which you see her do here, which uh, gets her health back to full. So you, uh, as throughout the fight, you'll have to constantly keep the crossblade on her. Uh, every time you see her start to do that or she'll be back at full health and she's quite hard to kill at that point. You'll also notice uh, we introduce a, a bomb growth we call it in this dungeon and that, those are like basically sticky bombs that you can throw but some of them are inert until you expose them to flames so here he's gonna transfer the fire from the torches to the bomb 
and that knocks her down long enough for you to beat on her. So even the, you know, a lot of the bosses have some puzzle elements to them that you've been, hopefully been learning throughout the dungeon. One of the tasks that War is given early on is from Samuel, the demon that he released earlier, and that's to bring him the hearts of the Chosen. The Chosen are basically the generals of the Destroyer's army, and the Destroyer is basically the leader of the demons, and uh, so War has to bring back her heart, her still beating heart, which is even more grisly. Obviously, when some dude shows up to get your heart, you're going to put up a bit of a fight. And, uh, some of their big moves can be countered, as you just saw him do there with the... If you, if you time the, the block right. That's pretty much over for Tiamat here. All the uh, bosses have a pretty grisly and spectacular death. Because gamers demand it. Blood rain. Do it! Tear out her heart while she still lives! I want to hear her scream! I am one of the chosen. I can grant your every wish. Can you restore the balance? 